In this video, we are going to discuss about five important questions which is related to steel that are going to ask you in interviews for freshers. So let's get started. The first question is, what is reinforcement? If anyone asks you what is reinforcement, you directly say steel, but it's wrong answer. They didn't ask you what is reinforcing material. I repeat, they didn't ask you what is reinforcing material. So now coming to the point, if interviewer asks you what is reinforcement, you should say reinforcement is the process of strengthening something. So here in case of civil engineering, we usually use steel as a reinforcement material for concrete structures. So that's the reason why here in case of the question what is reinforcement, it is steel sir. This is how you should answer in interviews. Link was given in the description for this page. You can download the PDF through it. So please go through the link. And the next question is, what is density of steel? So density of steel is 7850 kg per meter cube or 78.5 kilo Newton per meter cube. So how it becomes 78.5 kilo Newton per meter cube from 7850 kg per meter cube? So it depends on what type of density it is. So it's mass density or weight density. So soon I will make a separate video on density. In that video, I will explain clearly about densities. Next question is, what is modulus of elasticity for steel? So here, modulus of elasticity for steel is 200 gigapascals. So before that, what is Pascal? So basically, Pascal is the units for stress. So now, 1 Pascal is equals to 1 Newton per meter square. So Pascal is basically units of stress, which is also the units of pressure. So now, so 200 gigapascal is it's also given in other form where it is like 2 into 10 power 5 megapascals. So where 2 into 10 power 5 megapascals and gigapascals, you have to know the difference between all these things. So let me explain you first. 1 megapascal is equals to 10 power 6 pascals. So how it came? So before that, we know that 1 pascal is equals to 1 newton per meter square, right? So now 1 kilo pascal is equals to 10 power 3 pascals. And now 1 mega pascal is equals to 10 power 6 pascals. And again, finally, 1 giga pascal is equals to 10 power 9 pascals. So all these three values are very, very important in exam point of view and also in interview point of view. Interviewer asks you what is mega pascal and giga pascals in the form of pascals. You have to explain it in pascals. Now, coming to the point, 200 gigapascals, how it becomes 2 into 10 power 5 megapascals? This is the question. So, I will explain you here now. So, 200 gigapascals, right? So, it can be written in 200 into 10 power 9 pascals. So, which is 2 into 10 power 11 pascals. So, now 2 into 10 power 5 into 10 power 6, we can write this that one. Mega Pascal is 10 power 6 Pascals, right? So 1 mega Pascal is equals to 10 power 6 Pascals. So now 2 into 10 power 5 into 10 power 6. Here the 10 power 6 is the mega Pascal. So that's the reason why we can write 200 giga Pascals in the form of 2 into 10 power 5 mega Pascals. So now next question is, what is formula for weight calculation of steel? So weight calculation of steel is given in the calculated by the formula phi square by 162.2. So for phi square by 162.2, the derivation was explained in our channel. The link will be in, given in the description. Please go through that video. So now, next question is coefficient of thermal expansion for steel. So the coefficient of thermal expansion for steel is given as 12 into 10 power minus 6 per degree centigrade. These are the five important questions in related to steel. So thank you. Please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon by that you will get the notifications.